Hello, Creative Fiends. Thanks for tuning in again. And to our new viewers, welcome to Tasha's Imaginarium, a magical place where it's Halloween all year long and we have glitter running through our veins. I'm Tasha and this video, I will be showing you how I made this pumpkin Halloween garland up here. All right, let's begin. I start by selecting my Halloween lights and I will be tying them together with some string. I tie the black string to one of the ends and then I just wrap the string over and over and over to get the lights bound together tightly. Now I'm taking apart the leaves from a garland I got at the dollar store. I glue the leaves to the lights by sandwiching two leaves together with hot glue. I do this until I cover all of the string lights. Next, I'm taking these dollar store pumpkins and their facial features are too small, so I'm making them larger and more noticeable by cutting into them with an X-Acto knife. I'm cutting circles out of black craft foam and then folding the circles in half to make a cut in the center of the circle and then folding it in half again to make two more cuts to create an asterisk or star-shaped cut in the center of the, each circle. I make as many circles as there are pumpkins. Then, I hot glue each circle onto the bottom hole of each pumpkin. Now I take this colorful Halloween ribbon I got at the dollar store and make bows for each of the pumpkins. I hot glue the bow just below the face of the pumpkin and then secure it in place with a sewing pin. Now it's time to decorate the pumpkin with these floral pieces I got at the dollar store. I add candy corn and roasted marshmallow decorations for a more Halloween look. By the way, if you'd like to learn how to make these candy corn and roasted marshmallow decorations for your centerpieces and Halloween garlands, please let me know in the comments below. I add some more fake candy decorations to some of the pumpkins, as well as some fall leaves to really give it that Halloween look.
Now I use scraps of floral foam and popsicle sticks to create bases for the pumpkins so that they're a little bit elevated above the light strings. I use hot glue to create a bumper so that the pumpkin won't completely slide down the popsicle stick. Now I use the same decorative ribbon to wrap around the string of flame lights that will go inside the pumpkins. And once all of the crafting is done, all that's left to do is to set it up for a spooktacular effect. Setting up this garland is fairly easy. I just used light clips I got from Walmart and I stuck them to the top of my cabinet and then clipped the string lights onto them. As for the pumpkins, all I had to do was set them in place right behind the string lights and they were elevated enough to where they show through just on top of them. Before we go, I'd like to share with you a little sneak peek of what's brewing for next video. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please go ahead and give it a like. And remember to hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it so that you'll be notified as soon as each new video comes out. Until next time, stay spooky.